There are many styles of photography, from documentary realism to stylized illustrative. Take one step further and you get story art. Enter the world of fantasy, where your imagination can run wild and your dreams can come true. Karen Alsop is the award-winning photographer who has developed this unique style of portraiture by combining photography with digital art. Story art is uh, a recent passion of mine that's really taken off. Uh, it's all about creating images that aren't real. Uh, it's about bringing children into their imagination, bringing them to life. And you've been a photographer for a long time now. What was the impetus to, to shift tack in your career? Weddings and portraits, as much as I enjoy them, uh, weddings with young children, which we have now, are a challenge. Uh, long days and finding babysitters and all of that. So I started looking for something that could work in with my family life a little bit more. Uh, and it actually just came about starting to create images for local businesses uh, and finding that I had a skill in that area uh, in photoshopping and, and creating them and it's just skyrocketed since then. So. so take me through the process, what goes into creating a story art image? Okay, I come up with an idea, a bit of a concept to start off with and I picture it in my mind and I, I usually have a really clear idea. So then I start working out, okay, what do I need to shoot for the background? What do I need to shoot? Um, uh, for the different elements that I need. So with the Cinderella piece, I needed uh, a goose, I needed mice for the ears, I needed horses galloping away, I need a pumpkin and a carriage. And so all of those elements I've needed to capture separately with the right lighting, the right perspective, the right lenses so that I can bring it together as one piece. So Karen, after you've captured all of the individual frames, how do you go about putting them together? I use Photoshop uh, and it's a really powerful tool uh, but what I actually do is I, I need to sift through all the images, I need to pick the one that's going to fit the best so I start with the background scene uh, and I, I start with that and edit that and then I bring in my other elements and just one by one I layer them in in Photoshop. I use a Wacom graphics tablet so that I can accurately draw and cut out. Uh, we've got the green screen here and I use this quite often when I'm shooting my models because it means that I can quickly uh, cut them out of the scene and bring them into the, the final scene. And then once I've sort of got everything together, it's, it's a lot of refining, it's a lot of sort of light painting and uh, bringing shadows and highlights in where I need and sometimes some little magical particles and things like that. So uh, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into it, there's hours of work that goes into it. And this latest piece is made up of so many different components, but you know, I need a challenge, I need to not do the same thing over and over again. So, no, that's yeah. good. At the City Edge Centre in Melbourne, we find one of Karen's commission works on display. Tell me about the, the image itself. Basically, I created it to go with the verse here, uh, specifically for this centre. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit in each season, their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. And in my mind, I wanted to capture that life. I wanted to capture, uh, you know, a, a sense of uh, imagination and excitement. And this girl is just kind of, contemplating and looking up and maybe even seeking wisdom from up here. So I wanted it to be something that people look at and kind of take their own ideas from. Yeah, yeah. interpret it differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever create, completely artificially create elements? Or it's all done through photographs? I wish I was that talented. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and if you could see me draw, I can't draw at all. <laughs> Stick figures is about <laughs> it. So.